Right, uh, glad to be here. And uh, today I'll be talking about open source accessibility testing uh, with uh, the tool that uh, my team at Garcotech is building called uh, Purple Hats. So before I do that, let me just give a short introduction about myself. Uh, can you guys hear me? Okay. <laughs> we are reminded that accessibility is easy. Yes, you should be making a microphone, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, so a bit about myself. Uh, I mean, yeah, as, uh, as introduced, I'm a senior tech force engineer at GovTech. Uh, my, myself, I've been uh, working with computers since I was in primary school, and I have a visual impairment. Uh, and one of the reasons uh, why I'm working on accessibility is so that we, I hope that our services that we build can be more, uh, more inclusive and accessible. Oh, right, okay. That's okay. That always happens, right? Okay, so my favorite topics include DevOps, uh, Dev DevSecOps, and quality engineering, as well as recently accessibility testing. Yep. And uh, on, on non tech topics, I do talk about uh, inclusive employment, uh, especially employment uh, employability of persons with disabilities. So, uh, actually, the last speaker probably talked about, we talked about accessibility testing. But uh, regardless, uh, so why, why accessibility testing, right? Firstly, uh, accessibility testing, as the previous speaker mentioned, and uh, as you know, it's about making testing to ensure that your websites and mobile apps are friendly towards PWDs. And one form of accessibility testing is this thing called automated accessibility testing. Automated accessibility testing aims to help, uh, it's a kind of software testing to help you uncover and ensure the applications that develop are accessible to PWDs. And uh, for common types of disabilities include color blindness and those who are vision impaired. So probably heard, right? Vision impaired users, they use things like such as screen reader as well as a keyboard. And these PWDs use these assistive tech tools, not just to access the web and to use their mobile apps. And these services today that we roll out, chances are they're not if you don't test for these people, they are not accessible. And what my team and I are working on is to create accessibility testing tool called Purple Hats that aims to help you, you know, crawl through at least the entire website very quickly, right? Give, give, you have five minutes of your time, install Purple Hats, try it out, crawl the entire website, or even better yet, right? If you want to make sure your websites, especially like, you know, news websites, info sites, Continuously tested, you can use uh, SSB testing as well in the CI CD. And some of the benefits well, automated testing actually helps you to uh, make it, you know, make part of your functional requirements if it's not already so. And today, you can use automated SSB testing to help catch accessibility testing issues early with that. And of course, you can categorize accessibility testing issues, such as for color contrast issues, uh, things such as improper headings or lack of headings, and you can you know, catch all these recurring issues and categorize them. And uh, what we support is the console app, as well as uh, in Docker for those who run it, you can say your GitHub, your GitLab. And we're actually trying to you know, shift a bit more towards the user side, the, US, the designers, more everyday users, so we're developing a desktop version of it as well. So, uh, to, so much about what this tool can do, but why, how can Purple Hats really help, right? As uh, they just tool. So, I give you this scenario when a person who is, uh, you know, who is you no know, working on your app is not able to understand things such as your shopping cart, your shopping cart resize button, or your checkout screen. It's not intelligible to them. The screen reader doesn't read out what exactly the line items are correctly. Then what happens to that? Well, Purple Hats can then scan at least if you have done proper accessibility testing with Purple Hats, you could find that actually some of these code issues 
are already flagged out, like the button should have been labeled properly, or your text should have proper headings. And you can actually pick up some of these issues, and hopefully, with the tool, you can actually categorize them by WCAG. So WCAG is the Web Content Accessibility Guideline. It's a lot to unpack, so just Google it, and you realize that there's a lot of different standards, uh, different standards out there, but WCAG one uh, helps you unpack accessibility issues in different categories of issues, and you can find out what exactly what exact issue that the user is might be facing when they interface with the website. And with that, uh, one of the selling points of Google has is you can scan it across pages. I know Google Lighthouse is great, but you can only use it on one page. It is click scanning and every time you use or refresh the page on the next screen, Google has can help you do that. And I'll show you how you can do that even for websites that require interactive access, right? And then you need to uh, sign in, for example. And with that, I hope that people will pick it up and then plan it in there. If all the issues back up, you can plan it in accessibility roadmap. So the text stack is, uh, is actually purely open source. Uh, we use uh, various methods of crawling as well as uh, Playwright to help automate the workflow of scanning for accessibility. Crawly is for crawling and Playwright is for automating or writing your tests, right? If you, are, if you are a functional tester, you know, or quality engineer, you know that you can write uh, quickly write, record tests and we're using the same uh, tools out there. And for the reporting side, which is the accessibility scan and the report, we use uh, Xcore. And Mustache is a report uh, HTML that we use uh, to help us generate that, that report. Uh, and uh, for the code environment, you can run it uh, across this, uh, you're running on Node, and you can run it on GitHub as well as Docker. Some of the features, as we briefly alluded, you can crawl a website for accessibility issues. You can then scan your pages either as a website, uh, you enter a URL, or you can provide a sitemap. So if you're a news website, you have thousands of articles, you just throw in the sitemap, or perhaps we'll have to scan through all of them. And lastly, the fun part, right? You can record your own flows with our custom flow feature. And all that will be reported through uh, using S-Core and uh, up to WGC, WCAG's guidelines. So I'll give you an example of the console app. All you do is just once you install it, you just run uh, the you know, any node application, just put index. It gives you a series of prompts for the user to understand what they want to do and do a crawl, and then type in your URL and you can scan whether you want to scan in desktop or mobile, and very quickly you start scanning your website. You can scan about 100 pages in less than a minute, depending on your uh, the type of uh, laptop or computer you're using. Then you'll get a very brief report, uh, like what is the accessibility, what kind of accessibility issues are there, and we categorize it uh, according to the s engine, like whether it's uh, critical, serious, moderate, etc. And then you can download a report. The report looks like this, it tells you the website, again, uh, how many issues are there, or unique issues, and exactly the uh, HTML and the issue tied to the HTML element. It looks like that. If I zoom in, gives you the uh, the impact rating, the the, uh, the WCAG clause, as well as the description of the issue, and then the page URL. As you can, you can click on the page to bring you back to where you were uh, to find out that where that issue is, as well as the HTML elements, so you can you know, do your highlight and inspect element. And you need more help? You can just click on the shortcut there, and it will bring you to a help guide. Uh, by DQ University that lists out very comprehensively what the issue is about, how you can approach it, how you may fix it. So uh, for the people who are developing things like e-commerce sites, uh, things that are behind uh, on the login screen, you can use our custom flow feature that allows you to uh, scan a website by recording a series of actions. So this will allow you to scan websites where there are no, in certain, in certain cases where you need to fill in the form first, you need to submit, then uh, for some pages also, there's no, there's a, for new websites today, there's this thing called single page architecture where the URL doesn't change. So uh, Purple Hats can also handle that because uh, we use image-based scanning to determine whether there's a lot of HTML elements change on the screen.
So same thing, you go to our console, uh, you select custom, and you choose the format of the scan, in this case, uh, doing a desktop scan, and I choose the website that I want to scan, and very quick, in a few moments time, you open a browser, it's not an ordinary browser, this is actually by play, right, that we use, that you can type through this and highlight over elements, and every time you interact with an element, be it a mouse click or a keyboard type, it will record a series of steps. So say here, I'm just searching for accessibility on GovTex website. Click on hyperlink, and here is a flow that I want to I want to scan, right? So that I went through different pages. I actually went through my form element. Notice that I have to click the search button before a form element appeared. So uh, that indicates that new elements on the page. And then what happens is what we have to then run, scan, and repeat that series of actions for you. And as it does, it's actually scanning the entire page, the DOM element for accessibility issues. Right. And then you have the you have the same format of the report as you saw earlier. So how can you start? Well, it's a simple note application and go to our repository, just search purple hats, probably uh, one of the search uh, top uh, page one on Google search. Uh, you can also scan uh, this QR code for a quick installation guide. So one of the challenges for non-tech people is how do I install, uh, people don't understand why it's known, why it's always package management tools. So we have a package a zip file that you can literally just download and double click a, a, a command or shell script file and it will load the entire shell for you so you can run like the command line with everything installed for you. And of course, lastly, for those people who uh, work in the software development team, they want to bring their test scripts that you just recorded, or you have to bring the crawler into your, into your dev environment, your testing environment, how can you do that? So we have, as I mentioned, we have our we support Docker. So we have a pre-built, uh, or rather we, I think we have a Docker file which you can use to build an image. And then you can just deploy it uh, either in your favorite GitHub or GitLab with the same Command line interface. Right, so that's uh, about the tool that we are working on. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be around for you know, much time left for Q and A. And if you'd like to find out more about the work we do on Purple Hat, uh, scan the left QR code for the Purple Hat page on our GovTech developer portal. And on the right, you can uh, link up with me on, on LinkedIn. Thank you. Uh, I'm wondering if an if the repo is open for submitting pull requests, uh, if there if there is anything that can come through. Yes, uh, you you are open to. Yeah, you yeah, have you'll take a look at the PR and see what makes sense. Yeah, you can have to check there. Okay. I've got a question. Um just curious is uh, does this mean you said you can uh, when you want to test you can have it as if you're uh, looking on a, a mobile device. Yes. So uh, does that mean a, a PWA site visit will be exactly that uh, scenario? Right? So you simulate a PWA site as well? Exactly. So um, if, I, if I may show you the time, I can, I can show it on the screen. Uh, do I have to adjust the screen sharing so that the audience can see what's on screen? <laughs> okay, all right. All right, okay, great. So I'll just put the mic down here. So say you have a PWA app, right? You have a URL to the page. Uh, and point for it, then uh, you can uh, show, you can actually just enter the same thing. And here you can choose mobile. Yeah. And if you use the CRI, you can actually choose a lot more options, like down to the viewport you want to test for, the user agent that you want to test for.
I'll just give again the same website. There you go. So this is actually uh, running against a uh, iPhone 11 user agent. With, uh, yeah, and your app will pick out that user agent and render it accordingly. So I guess you can change user agents. Then. Yes, you can. So we have the entire list of uh, user agents uh, presented on the uh, on the repo page. Yeah, so you can <coughs> choose from there as well. So this, like as illustration, this is exactly how fast uh, the color works. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.